So let's come into grounding breath. Close your eyes and just enjoy this moment. Finding gratitude for the space, finding gratitude around you. Affirming that you are in harmony and balance with all things, that there is no separation. We are enjoying this oneness, even in the spaces that we're in. Finding that harmony, the balance, and just being encouraged, motivated, inspired. Take this moment to recognize where your body is this morning, how you're feeling. And then on your next exhale, let that all go. Your breath will release any blockages. Send your breath into the areas that you're holding tension, that you're tight, that you're feeling these blockages, that you're feeling this experience, the sensations. Mm. And then in the next breath, honor an intention an affirmation, if you will. Now shake it all out, let it go. Make all the movements, shaky, 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 all the things, right? Let's find our way to the mat. And just go ahead and come into some gentle movements for yourself. I'm gonna grab the blanket and a pillow, so that way I have some tools to work with along with you. And I also wanna encourage you to grab your blocks and strap if you do have a strap. And if you don't have a strap, hey, that's no problem, no big deal. You may have a belt, and if you don't have a belt, maybe you have a, a scarf or your yoga mat bag it can help. So let's go ahead and uh, Take some time to come to all fours. And then allow your knees to be hip distance apart or maybe slightly wider. Okay. Oh boy. And then your hands are going to be right underneath the shoulders. And we're going to come into some gentle twists. And this is an option one. Okay. Option one. You're going to take the, the right arm under the left and you're going to bring the shoulder down. We're going to be here for about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, maybe two minutes, okay? You're going to walk your left hand forward. Now, if you find that this is a little more uh, challenging, then I'll ask you to come to this chair or to your, to your uh, couch. And what you're going to do is you're also going to have your, your knees hip distance apart facing the chair. And from here, you're either going to A, option one, extend the left arm onto the base of the chair and slide your shoulder. And you're gonna do the same pose, but elevated. And you can place your hand anywhere on the couch or on the chair, wherever it rests comfortably. If you want, you can also take your hand to your lower back. So this is a nice modification to offer that. Or simply staying in a seated position and bringing the arm across the chest and holding onto your elbow. So we've got about maybe 60 seconds left now for those of you that are already in the posture. And we'll do it together, okay? Please note that you can use a pillow or a block underneath your head 
to bring the earth to you and you can walk your hand off of your yoga mat. Remember to breathe, conscious breathing, belly rising, belly falling. slowly if you wish you can walk your left hand back or lower it down to the earth we're going to push down into the left hand to pull our bodies up and maybe just open the right arm up good let's release that hand down to the ground and now the same option applies on the left so let's go ahead and sweep the left under the right and bring your head down. Nice, find your smile. Walk your right hand forward, push into the earth. You can walk your hand out to the side if that feels better, okay? And remember the other option is across. It's always nice, okay? And also, on the couch, okay? Remember your smile. Remember to breathe. Really inspiring that left arm. So really getting a stretch. Every exhale, you might be looking up in the direction of the sky if that's an ability for you. Now we press up, bring that hand back, and then rise up slow. Reach the little left arm up, say hello, and then let it go. Move back and forth. Let's take a little downward dog, and if downward dog is not for you, okay, then you're gonna just use that chair and come more into a halfway lift. And just notice what that feels like. Tuning into the body, maybe you bend your knees and you bring your butt back a lot. So you have some of those options to play with. So you can walk your dog there, walk your dog here, okay? If you find that you're doing a lot of the elbows coming out, pull your elbows back in and then shake your head yes. Bend your knees, bring your butt to the sky more, push into your hands. And then roll yourself forward, step your right foot forward. And this is an opportunity that you can use your blocks. We're gonna come into lizard stretch. We're gonna be here for three minutes. We start tall and we walk our foot out to the side. Now in lizard stretch, this is the same opportunity for y'all that are using the couch, okay? Hands are on the inside of the right foot. Back foot is either tucked or untucked as you progress into the pose then you can discover what you want to do, okay? Your hips are going to start to come forward. Notice my knee comes over my ankle, okay? I'm going to walk my blocks forward so I can keep my spine long. So it's one dynamic line from my back knee to my neck, all the way up to my crown. And I will remain here for the next three minutes. And then after about a minute, I'll cue you to come down again, another level if you wish. Resist the urge to sway your knee out. It wants to go out on you. So keep it in and tight and close. Your whole body is working, especially the lower belly, okay? Those of you at the couch, your foot is forward. 
Okay, you're still in the same pose on the bottom unless your knee is very sensitive. I'm gonna ask you to stand up then. And then your hands are gonna be on the couch. You're gonna be looking forward. You, if you want, you can then begin to lower and rest, okay, onto the couch. So let's begin. Tune back into those affirmations. Let's find that smile. I'm just tuning into that inner body bright. Two minutes left. If you wish to come down a notch, come down a notch. Notice where we're connecting to breath, where we're holding it, if we're shifting our hips or if we're squared. Notice all your movements that you may be doing, all the nuances. Even the itty bitty micro, micro, micro adjustments. Begin to breathe deeper. Maybe inviting like a Darth Vader breath or a breath of the ocean. As though you're walking on the seashore with your eyes closed, you can just hear the waves washing through. You might even consider if you were just like fogging the mirror with your mouth closed, so that's a better visual. We're preparing a transition to the last minute. So if you wish, you can take your blocks down one more or your pillows down one more. And here we just hold the space, not the breath. Sending your breath of intelligence into those tight little spaces. We've got 30 seconds. I'm definitely feeling the intensity here in the fire, the tapas. Remember to smile and breathe. I feel in it too. Just tilling the soil of your soul, y'all. You're just making space for new seeds. You're ripping out the roots, the roots of the weeds, right? We don't want them bad boys there. Just let it go. Nice. And then from here, we're going to take our hands down to the blocks, to the ground, and then place your hands firmly into the blocks as we begin to tuck the back toes and Step back for a downward facing dog and walk our dog and paddle our feet. And remember, if you're on the couch, same thing applies. Just straighten the legs out here and kind of just walk that all out and 
make a few circles with your knee leg, the one that was grounded a lot. And then also just open up through. If you wanted to lift your leg up, you can lift your leg up and come into some movement there. And then we're gonna go ahead and come back and then just take the left foot forward. And let's walk the right leg back. Okay. Let's remember to square the hips. So we don't want one hip higher than the other. We don't want to favor one hip higher than the other, okay? Another option I want to offer for those of you that might have yoga bolsters in your home, I, it slipped my mind because it's not something we always have in our home, but if you invest in a bolster, okay, uh, you, can, you can get them on Amazon, Amazon Smile, choose Jai Bhakti Yoga Foundation as your organization. And um, you press, place this right underneath your hips. So for those of you that want just a little bit more, you can kind of construct this model where you can have a nice cushion for your hip. It's real sweet, okay? And then you're gonna have your block on the inside of your left foot. This will also help to keep your hips square. Look forward and remain here for three minutes. Untuck your back toe makes it so much better. Mm -hmm. This is a really sweet add, really sweet modification. You can also do this by building up some blocks and placing some really nice thick pillows. Couch cushions work perfect. Work perfect. They're the same kind of thickness of a, of a bolster. And you'll notice the glute firing up here, y'all. And we have two more minutes, two more full minutes in this pose. Uh, make sure that your left foot is not turned out too much, that you want your, you still want your foot forward. And then just resting in this space. Relax the shoulders, relax yourself down. Really give yourself permission to settle, okay? So that's another, I wanted to share that. Totally slipped my mind. Remember, we hold the breath, we hold the space, not the breath. You can drop down another level if you're in a higher level and want to explore. Mm -hmm. Breathe. And just notice if you're really rounding a lot in the upper body or if you're able to really intentionally draw your chest forward between the shoulders. And even if you're looking down, still giving yourself that sense of lengthening through the core area and the underbody, just as much as the upper body here in the, or the back body, I should say. Allowing the right hip to slightly come forward, left hip a little bit more back. If you're transitioning to the last the lowest, go ahead and start to come that way. The lower belly's pulling up and in on the exhales. I'm just smiling with you. Here we go, let's pull the hands down to the ground. So good, mm -hmm. let's pull ourselves back and let's take that left leg back 
and let's find downward facing dog. Again, let's make all the movements with our blocks and adaptions. Let's go ahead and lift the legs and walk your dog. Make a few rotations with that back leg as well because the poor knee has a lot of energy in it. Mm, moving all that energy around. So good. Now let's go ahead and come on down to our tushies and let's sit. Take your time, there's no rush, okay? And let's fold our blankets or towels, or, excuse me, or pull our pillows um, underneath our tuchus, but you want it to be right underneath the bone. So if you get a little personal with yourself, you can feel the, very, the bones of your booty. That's what you want on the base of your towel. You see here, so because if you're sitting on it, the, the whole booty on it, then it defeats the purpose. So we're going to have our little bo booty bones right on the end here. And then we're going to let the pubic bone whoop, drop forward. And that's going to open up all the lower belly for us and help our knees come down. And then we're lifting, lifting the chest here. Now, please, if you have your strap with you, let's take the right knee. You can place something underneath it and please extend the left leg. And a lot of people get very lazy here. This is not a pose to get lazy. So you wanna turn the leg so that the knee is pointing towards the sky and the foot is pointing towards the sky. And if it's too intense for your hamstring, then bend the knee. Strap around the ball of the foot, the torso in the same direction as the leg. Every time we exhale, you want to kick your leg until your leg is straight. Don't worry about how far down you go. It's all about opening up your IT band and your hamstring and your hip flexor through the psoas, along your back body, up through the latissimus dorsi, and up all the way through to your crown. Inhale, we lengthen. Exhale, we pull slightly itty bitty forward. So you wanna actively bring your butt back. You see what happened to my tummy when I did that? When I bring my butt back, my belly comes in. Mm -hmm. And now I have more space for my hip flexor, my hip crease to co come back more, to open up through the bottom of my leg. And then if you feel so inclined, if you wanna use a block, you can and hold that space. If you have the chair in front of you, those of you that have the chair in front of you, push your foot into the, into the couch or the chair. That action is going to fire up your leg and then you can rest forward fold over your chair. You don't even need the strap because you're actually doing more work you can have a block under your knee. You'll actually feel it better if you're using a, a wall or a chair for this pose, as a matter of fact. Super good, super good job for you all, super good. I just love sharing all the modifications with you all. It's, it just means so much to give you as much as I can. So this is where we're going to start to get antsy. We only got a minute and a half left because I've been doing a lot of demoing. The vibration is very high today. It's new moon energy, by the way, which today is a new moon flow as well. So we're moving energy. Remember, if you got a lot of energy inside of you and it's getting blocked, that's where it creates anxiety because it's not getting released. So yin, flex your foot more. Yin, see, I'm not cheating. Yin gives you uh, the ability to break down those patterns. It gives you the ability to see into your soul self rather than the superficial self because you got to hold these poses longer than you would in flow. And the new moon gives us the transition to experience what we want to release and what we want to keep. So we have the power to make change. Inhale, let's come up. 
And now we're just going to simply change to the other side. So we're going to extend your left right leg long and feel the difference. And then let's take the strap or place your foot against the wall or the chair. I love that you guys have that and you're doing that. That makes me really happy. And then let's take the left knee, or the net left foot in to the right thigh and then flex the foot. Again, let's bring the torso over in the direction of the right. And we have our tools. And this way we can get nice and cozy. Let's take three minutes now that we know where we're going. Remember, keep that the foot pointing up towards the sky like the knee. So they're in the same direction. We're not torquing our knee. We're actually realigning the patella of our knee while we're doing this pose. That's why it's really important to do it right. Okay. And then left hand down, look forward. Torsion pelvises. This is another extremely powerful pose for you all because you're working on the realignment of your pelvis so that your gait is better and that you can then realign your side bodies. And this way you will alleviate the pain that you are feeling in the lower back. This is a very important and very powerful pose. And then begin to take those breaths forward. And now I'll hold this space for you all while you're breathing. Two and a half minutes. Remember, stay very active in that right leg. Notice your foot pressing that wall away, pressing that couch away. Now let's slowly soften our faces and open the eyes if they're closed. Soften your grips, pull yourself back up. Nice. Release your strap. Release all the things. And let's bring our feet together and knees apart and begin to butterfly the legs, the knees up and down. Let this energy out now. The lower three chakras, we are, we're going to release them. It's very good. So you're going to feel all kinds of stuff going on through the lower back. You're going to feel stuff in the middle portion of your back. It's okay. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay. And now from here, we're going to let this all go. Let those legs go out in front of you. Very nice. Now option one, how we're going to start to release this lower back sensations. We're going to come off of our blanket. We're gonna cross the left knee, left foot over the right, and we're gonna bend the knee and come forward. Now this might be an option for everybody. So you might have your elbows resting on the blanket, but your foot crossed, and this might feel really super sweet, real comfortable. You can move this back, you know, adjust so that your elbows are very comfortable, okay? Now check it out. You're gonna walk your foot in until you feel the stretch, and you might stay here it looks like I'm leaning on my couch, but I'm actually quite far from it. But if you want, you can lean on your couch and let your head rest. And you can even draw your knee in and get the stretch from here. Huge modification, totally worth doing. So good, feels great. Other ways of doing this is extending the leg long in front of you and resting here. Again, you can use your strap. You can stay lifted. You can bring your blocks in front of you and lean forward, okay? You can bend the elbows and rest the elbows on your leg and rest here. And lastly, well, two more. <laughs> you can be on your couch and you could be resting in a gentleman's seat, leaning forward, always a sweet add. Those of you in this particular pose can even add a little prayer twist. 
because you have more access here. And also for those of you on the ground, if you wanna, if you wanna play with that, you could do that here too. You can also use a block. And the very, very last one is to be on your back, okay? So you can be down here, okay? So we come all the way down to the back, so regression. So all of them, let's hang out there for the three minutes. This is another option, just laying down, keeping your foot down. And know that there, you can explore a variety of the expressions in your postures. Feel free to add movement as needed. Now we're gonna go ahead and start to make our way up and out of the pose. If you are in a seated position or on your back, you're just gonna let your legs drop down to the right. And we're gonna look towards the left, okay? For others of you, you are probably going to come out of the pose and just let your, uh, kind of drop over towards the right, that's fine too. Or you're on your back and you're comfortably dropping the knees over to the right and gazing to the left for a gentle supine twist. If you're in the chair version or whichever uh, direction, you're just gonna cross the legs and let them drop over to the right and gaze to the left. Looking, working on a few variations. And then we're gonna inhale, come back to center, and we are going to take this pose on the other side. So plant the opposite foot down, change cross the other leg. So uh, if you did the right side, then you're gonna do left, left, you're gonna do right. Cause I think I began on the right, but then after demoing, I went to the left. So from here, you're going to take the very favorite position that works for you. My hands are behind me, pushing my hands into the earth, lifting my chest and breathing. Go ahead and hang out <clears throat> for about two and a half, three minutes. Make all the adjustments that you need. And please always, always, always know that you can pull your foot in closer, take it out further, adapt, modify. One side's different than the other. <clears throat> so you can always bend the elbows or give yourself permission that you need. Excuse me, my throat's a little foggy. <clears throat>
come back to your intention that you may have started with it for your practice, maybe your affirmation. And then go ahead and start to drop the knees over to the left, gaze to the right. You can soften here, you can come down onto your back. And just take your favorite variation, serves you best. My stomach's growling, I'm hungry. <laughs> And after a few rounds of breath, let's go ahead and come back to center. We're gonna shake everything out, let everything go. <laughs> Round over your legs. <clears throat> breath in, reach the arms forward and start to lower yourself all the way down to your backs, onto your mats or into a comfortable position we prepare for Shavasana. If you like, <clears throat> you can place a blanket underneath your lower back and it will protect the arch of your spine as you release into the ground and it feels really, really good. And then once you accommodate yourself, wiggle your tushy on the ground, release your feet out, just let them drop out. Let your belly just fall down and let your arms just sway out and allow yourself the most beautiful permission to just rest, okay? You can have your heart, arms above your head if you like. You can have your hands on your tummy. And just make your way into the space that feels good for you. Now, if this is not an option, you can also do the same pose, bending the knees, okay? You don't need the blanket underneath you if you don't need it. And you can draw your chin towards your chest so this way you have the entire base of your skull on the spine and be able on the mat as opposed to uh, keeping the chin up towards the sky. So you want to be closer so you're not overextending. It's also very uncomfortable for your cervical spine. And lastly, you can turn the blanket or use your bolsters and rest along the spine here, which is another variation, it feels very good. And we'll be here together for the next minute and a half. Palms can either face up for receiving or down for grounding. And just allow your next exhale to release fully into the mat.
Big breath in and out. Inhale. And out. Just letting yourself connect. Notice the beat of the drum in the heart. And taking your sweet, sweet, sweet time. You might decide to just remain in Shavasana. It's a great option. You can hang out there as long as you like. Or we're going to begin to slowly pull ourselves up or roll over to the right or the left. And make our way up to seated. As we close our class together, honoring our time, honoring your purpose, your wishes, your dreams, your manifestations, and honoring the light that lives in each of us. I am so grateful to be able to share this journey and this class, this opportunity with all of you. And I look forward to seeing you soon in our next class. See you on Monday with Illy for meditation at one o'clock. And I'll see you on Wednesday morning at eight for gentle yoga. Much love and namaste. Please be sure to let me know if there's anything you want me to work on next week too, all right? You can send me a little email or a comment. I love you guys.